hardcore rider, man. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this grind is finally over. Just one more raw car in Buanji, and we are out. I think we started with like, oh my gosh, was it like 400,000 or so? Maybe even a little bit more. Let me just type in my bank pin. And yeah, let's put away all of this and see how many raw car and bond we've ended up with. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. 271,000 raw car and bond. Now I know what you're thinking. Are you completely insane? Yes. I am, but that's not the point. The point is we still do not have the fishing pet after that grind. Over a quarter million raw car and bonds fished. And before this, I believe I did like 150,000 raw car and bonds or something. So we're like 400,000 car and bonds in. And I think that's more than twice the drop rate, maybe even more. Some of y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. But the coolest thing about this is not that it's worth almost 95 million gold, but that this is 51.6 million cooking xp and if you look at the cooking xp i have now that will put us dangerously close to a hundred million cooking xp which i think is just kind of cool and the nice thing about car bonds is you can one tick cook them so i can get about a million xp per hour by doing that yes that means that i'll have to spend over 51 hours one tick in the car bonds to get through it but i'm obviously not going to do that all at once just over time and i think it'd be pretty cool to have a skill at 100 million xp on the hardcore i've only got one skill to 100 mil ever in old school RuneScape, and that is ranged on my main account. So, yep, over time, I'm going to be cooking these car bonds, and I'll probably, well, I don't know, I'm going to do the two tick swordfish method or something for the fishing pet because uh, clearly car bonds are not the way for me. So I'm just chilling here with my buddy, M Mysterious Stranger. We've known each other since we were kids. We go way back, and he is here to sell me the most important item of my life the escape crystal. It costs 75,000 gold. I'm going to go ahead and buy 10 of these because I think I will need them. And normally you would just use this to teleport out of dangerous content like Theater of Blood. I think you might have been able to use it at Tombs of a Masket as well. But now it is usable everywhere. And there's also some options to make it so that it auto activates if you have been not interacting with the screen for a certain amount of time. Basically, if you DC and then you take damage, this crystal teleports you. Apparently, I could set it for as low as two seconds which is pretty nice, although I do believe that might be a little bit too short depending on what type of content I'm doing. Like, if I just stop clicking on the screen, I think for two seconds it'll teleport me. So during a boss fight, I'd have to be constantly prayer flicking, constantly, like, clicking on the screen. Maybe mouse movement is enough, but I don't know. We're going to go test this out, though. I still have some Hydra to do on task, and, I mean, I hope, obviously, that I don't have to use it and that I don't accidentally use it mid-kill, but we'll see. Uh, what? What? Why did that why did that happen? Did I take damage? I don't think I took damage. I guess just getting hit counts. I really thought it was only when you took damage. But okay. And there's another hydro task done. What's our kill count at? 962. We are very very close to the drop rate and oh man this is hard okay i guess i'm just gonna bury one of the hydra bones and uh yeah it's looking pretty good got to go back to conar maybe she'll give us the back to back but hopefully we can hit 1k soon and then we can start complaining about being drive the hydra claw yay okay well that's starting to feel like fate it only took like two tasks before we got the hydra's task again so 173 that is a lot of hydra Oh my gosh, that is a lot of hygiene. All right, here we go again. Are you serious? Another jar of chemicals. What? What is that? There's our second one there. We've gotten duplicates of every unique, except for the ones we're dry on. We're missing a ring piece still at nearly a thousand kill count. And then, of course, no Hydra's Claw. But don't worry. We got two jars of chemicals. All right, that's a pretty good flex. Also, I'd like to say this new teleport crystal is amazing because it has made it so every time I go to do a little something on the other account I'm playing on the side, I get teleported out and I have to run all the way back here. I need to stop getting distracted. This has really shown me that I get distracted a lot while playing this account. And here we go, the big 1K, 1,000 kill count at Alchemical Hydra. It is finally time. I've been waiting for this day. Now I can whine and complain and go wham maybe even post on reddit and yeah no it's okay we're a little bit dry actually i think the drop rate's one in a thousand and one for the claw now that i think about it but still we can pretend you know it feels good one thousand kill count let's check out the log we've actually gotten exceptionally lucky on the weirdest things two jars of chemicals five hydra leathers we don't talk about that drop it doesn't exist and of course we've gotten thrown axes and knives as well 
So we've gotten pretty much everything besides the pet that's more rare than the claw, but I will take it. You know, this account has always been weird, and it always will be. So I got a little bit burnt out of Hydra. We did like 100-something kills in one sitting, and I just, yeah, I can't go anymore. So we're taking a break. We're here at Seracnus for multiple reasons, first of which, obviously, these giant egg sacks, which I'm getting absolutely spooned on, which is great. I need red spider eggs for herb lore, but also... For a second, maybe a little unexpected goal. I really want to get to 1,000 collection log slots on the hardcore. I know that's random, but only about five accounts have that many log slots right now. I think it'd be a pretty cool accomplishment uh, to get on a hardcore account. And we're currently at 536. Seracnus has the pet in the jar, which are not exactly what I'm going for. I'm mostly going for the grubby keys, which you can use on the grubby chest to get uh, two pet recolors for Seracnus, which are both their own collection log slot. Plus, as a side grind, Seracnus drops a ton of elite and hard clues, which, you know, clue scrolls are one of the most lucrative collection log sections in all of old school runescape so probably just going to be grinding this off and on every now and then just whenever i get bored of whatever i'm doing also when i said i was getting spooned i mean i was getting spooned look at that four egg sacks in one trip i was gonna say it'd be really satisfying to get all the way up to the 1300 or so red spider eggs that we need for these snapdragons and apparently that's only going to take me about two hours at this rate and there we go, 200 kills at Seracnus. This boss has been super kind to me with the elite clue scrolls. I think we've only gotten one hard clue so far from like about 100 something kills, but we have gotten like three or four elites. I didn't have to drop one, but you know, we don't talk about lava dragon isle steps in the hardcore. This boss is super fun, dude. It actually drops so many useful things, and it's so chill, and I've used like four more teleport crystals because I look away at Twitter for like five seconds, then I'm just in arty or something. Okay, short moment here. Just let me have this. This is a satisfying moment. I just added five mil to my kingdom's coffer, so this collection is at least five million GP worth, maybe more before this. I think I top it off sometimes without collecting, but let's see. At least five million GP worth of kingdom resources. Oh my god. 10,000 mahogany logs. All of these herbs, oh, just look at it. Just look at it for a moment and feel good. I'm doing some prep work for beginner clues, just gathering all the stuff we need for Charlie the Tramp. I actually found out that all of the fish that he asks for can actually be bought at shops. Here in Canifus, you could buy the raw trout and the raw pike. What is Rufus doing all the way over here? He's back behind his shop. Like, why is his wander radius so big? What the... And the herring can be bought from my boy Frankie here, assuming that you have over, uh, what is it? I think it's like 50% pisk favor. Also, look at how much fish this man sells. This shop's kind of nuts. If there was a bank really close by, I think this might be one of the most OP shops in the game. Celia here in Verox sells the leather bodies that we need. Leather chaps from the armor salesman here in the ranging guild. You can get all of your iron daggers here from either the Verox shop or the warrior's guild shop. Honestly, there's a lot of places that sell iron daggers, and I believe that's everything we needed to prepare for this. So yeah, thank you, Jagus, for making the update where you don't have to make everything yourself. <laughs> Made this a lot easier for me. I just randomly got the motivation to work on another uh, clue requirement, which is the Greenman's Ale M, which is a huge RNG item. I'm very, very excited to go for this. So basically, I have to brew it myself since I am an Iron Man. I know cringe being an Iron Man is kind of embarrassing, but there is normally a 5% chance to get the mature version of an ale. Thankfully, I have gotten the stuff from Trouble Brewing, which actually was a collection log slot, as you can see here. So, hey, we're making progress. Uh, it buffs it from 5% to 64%. So we could still fail this, and it can take up to like five or seven days to actually brew this stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's hope we don't fail this. So I am happy to the report that our Seracnus grinding has gone super well, and now we can empty all these egg sacks, and we actually have enough red spider eggs to make all of our super restores. Very nice. Holy moly, best drop I've ever gotten. I literally just got the... Also, every now and then this happens. Look in the chat box. You get like four drops in one kill, and it's honestly just so satisfying. I've got the grubby key, the giant egg sack, the normal drop, and a page. I just... I love this boss. It's so simple. Yes, so satisfying. And here we go. The biggest accomplishment of my life. 300 kills at Seracnus. I'm actually enjoying this boss so much. Really enjoy the clues we've been getting. I've been literally gotten more elites than hards. So, I mean, that's been a little bit silly. But I'm excited to open them. And I think I'm going to finish up this trip. Then we're going to go open up the grubby keys we've gotten from this. And the clues. And see if we get anything spicy. First up on the menu is the grubby keys. I don't know how many of these to bring per trip. Maybe like five. But we got 20 of them. 
in total from all of the Seragnus kills I've ever done. I don't think I've ever opened these Grubby Keys. So 315 kills for 20 Grubby Keys. I'm sure that's kind of standard, and let's get going. Okay, here we are at the chest. What we're hoping for is the Seragnus Pet Recolors. That's two collection log slots potentially, one for the orange and one for the blue. Let's see what we get. Also, you get just a ton of garbage, honestly. Like, some of this is decent. Of course, we just keep getting these. Like, look at that. 10 grimy toad flax. That's pretty nice. Oh, my God. I keep rolling egg potatoes. I swear there's other stuff on this table. There is other stuff on the food table. You're not supposed to just get egg potatoes. There. See? Sharks. They exist. All right. Here we go. Five more keys. Come on, baby. Just one of the uh, pet recolors would be awesome, actually. Like, I don't expect to get both of them. They're one in 25. Oh, gosh. It's giving me a warning. I have too much crap on me. Right, I'm dropping the sharks. I'm sorry if that hurts anybody's souls. I'm dropping the food. I do not want all of this. It's just overwhelming. It's way too much. Oh my god. Like, I get the idea of the chest, but oh my goodness. Did we get a log slot? Nah. Who's excited for more egg potatoes? I know I am. God, look at them. They're just so yummy. Just such a yummy piece of food. I just want to eat them all. They're just so good. And I think we're technically dry on getting one of the pieces now, so they're both 1 in 25, so... Yeah, oh well, always dry, never lucky. Okay, here we go, last five grubby keys. I am predicting egg potatoes, personally. Oh my goodness, we got egg potatoes. That's pretty lucky, actually. First opening, next one, egg potatoes. I'm sorry if I'm talking about these egg potatoes so much. They're living rent-free inside of my mind right now. One key left, can we please get something? I really, really want a log slot. No, all of that work for nothing. But we did get a lot of like random things like these herbs and blood runes. And I think we got 50 dragon darts, which is cool. It was definitely worth all that effort. And now time for some fun. We've got some clue caskets stacked up, as you can see. Not like an insane amount, but 11 elites is actually kind of an insane amount. You have to be crazy to do 11 elite clues. From the beginners, we get nothing, but we've only done five beginners, so I really did not expect much. Easy clues, though. Easy clues could be good. And I think we still need a lot of items from these. Yeah, black full helm, gold, new log slot. Also, I've never opened clues with game audio on. Every single time you open one, it plays a jingle. It's, like, really excessive. And uh, that's everything for the easies. Six medium caskets. I do still need ranger boots, so those would be pretty darn awesome. Addy shield, H1, new log slot. You love to see it. Uh, oh, not again, dude. Not more climbing boots, G. And that is it. That's all she wrote. Oh, man. Look at the boot ratio. We've gotten five boots and no rangers. Now where it's finally going to start getting juicy, the hards. Eight hard clues. Also, I do not have a master clue in the bank, by the way, just in case anyone was wondering. Uh, so we could get that, and that would be pretty awesome. Uh, nothing yet from these hards. Wow, five hards in a row with no uniques. Look at this. We did get almost 300,000 gold from those hard caskets. This is literally just all alchemicals. So not too bad. I won't actually complain. There's two more room play bodies and an armadillo kite shield. A new unique and back-to-back -back uniques at the end. Rune full helm G. Okay, that's pretty awesome, actually. And now for the best tier of clues ever, elites. Everybody loves elites. There's not a single person on this planet who doesn't like elite clues. So let's get opening. Uh, whoa, ranger gloves. Okay, that's pretty huge. Those are a cool item. Let's throw these on. I don't know. I don't think I know what they look like. They actually look really good. Uh, yeah, those look great, actually. Wow. And do they give any good bonuses? They give plus ten range bonus. I mean. That's worse than Barrow's Gloves, but they do look cool and they're probably good for pures. And we got a Master Clue. The only problem with Master Clues is that there are so many Wilderness Steps. So for Hardcores, these things are just horrible. You can only do like 20% of the ones you get, unless you want to go into Multi and die. I'm also going to be building all the stash units for the Master Clues as I go along, which is just finally a great use for the 120 million GP we have. And oh boy, Fallow the Bard. I think I have every single item for Fallow the Bard except for the Armado Helmet. And no, I do not have the Music Cape yet. That's definitely something I need to work on. I have most of the tracks, but I'm still missing a couple random ones. Like, I haven't been to Nex yet. Okay, I got a back-to-back -back Fallow step. It was Crystal Bow and then Infernal Axe. And now, back-to-back-to-back... -to -back -to -back, where he asks for the Infernal Axe again. Oh my goodness, that is so lucky. And now I'm going to find my nearest bridge. And, uh, well, I'm just going to live there because I'm tired of playing RuneScape. I need a Pharaoh Scepter. That's really, that's not ideal. I don't have a Pharaoh Scepter. I don't like Pyramid Plunder. Oh, I hate the position this puts me in. I either have to drop the Master Clue six steps in, 
or I have to finally suck it up and go to Pyramid Plunder and go for a Scepter. Which, in case you didn't know, on my main account, I went so insanely dry for the Scepter. I don't remember exactly how many hours it took me, but I'm pretty sure it took me three days of playing for over 10 hours a day to get the Scepter. So maybe the luck will average out and I'll get super spooned on this one on the Hardcore. But the worst thing about Iron Man is you need like three Scepters. You need one to make your stupid altar in the house. You need one to like, I don't know what else you need it for, but then you need one for teleporting. I've just always been told you need three. You know what? To be fair, the scepter is also a collection log slot, so this kind of goes in line with the goals I have anyways, so let's just do it. I've got this set up. I have no idea if this setup is good. I have not done actual pyramid plunder in so long. Well, I just timed myself doing this and did some math with the drop rates. I believe it's about a 1 in 198 chance to get a Ferris Scepter if you loot all eight of the little golden, what do you call those things? Not the sarcophagi, but the little chests. I could do about 20 runs an hour, which means this is about a 10 hour grind. I'm not so sure about this. I don't know if I could do that right now. I think my brain will probably collapse, but I'll try for a little while. Dude, wait, did you guys just see that? Did you just see that grr, someone has found a Pharaoh Scepter from the mummy, I'm clearing all the urns out or whatever? That means one of these bots just got a Pharaoh Scepter right in front of me. I'm gonna cry. Update, I've done a little bit more research, okay, and it's actually worth it to loot the sarcophagi on floor 4 and 5. Uh, everywhere else is just horrible rates, and actually they are polling to fix that to make the rates better for all the floors above this. But I need this Pharaoh Scepter now. I want to open those elite clues, so I'm going to keep going for it. And according to the math, uh, the math I did earlier was bad. I looked at other people's math. It's like 1 in 130 or something to get a Pharaoh Scepter, which takes about 5 hours. And I've been here for about 7 hours, so I think we're dry on this account too, because why not? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. We actually got it. I almost didn't believe it. Oh, I have nothing more to say. I'm so happy. We can actually go finish this master clue, probably. I mean, it is the seventh step, so we could have got an eighth step. It's absolutely horrible, but look at that goofy-looking scepter. I've never actually looked at what it looks like when you wield this, and... It <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny looking. So I would really like a second scepter to put in my POH to have the altar, but it's not like the biggest deal in the world. So whenever I come here to do this clue step, I'll do a full run through of the uh, full pyramid. And, you know, it should only take about a hundred something of those clue steps. And do we get the casket? No. And it's a Sherlock step. I think we could do all the Sherlock steps. So we're probably good. Also, something I didn't even think about until now is the second scepter is so much easier to get than the first because once you're done looting the eighth floor chest, you just teleport straight back to the mummy to start the run over, which saves like over 30 seconds per run. So eh, maybe I will go for a second one. Not now, but that's a future Shelby problem. And here we go. The master clue is finally done. After all of that work, I feel like I deserve a little something, you know, seven hours of grinding to get this darn master clue completed. Let's see what we get. Oops. All right, master clue, honey. Just just give me something good, okay? Just, uh, you know, <laughs> seven hours for a palm tree seed and some fire lighters. That's pretty much what you expect from master clues. So uh, I'm not that disappointed. Okay, nine more elites to go, though. We could find something spicy in here. Oh, my God. God, oh my god, Ranger's Tunic and a Musketeer's Debard, oh my, two log slots and one elite, that's nuts. Okay, I don't think anything can top that. Six more elites and there's another master clue. Is it in Deep Wildy? No, but it requires a Zami full helm. Do I have that? I do not. Womp womp. Well, we'll just drop this master, because if we don't get another one, then, you know, we'll just hold on to that and see what happens. Three more elite clues to go. I genuinely do not care what we get. I'm so happy with that double unique clue that I could just get garbage from the rest of these, just like we did. And I'm not even upset. And we'll hold on to that master, just in case we do another hard opening and happen to get a Zami full helm without getting another master. It kind of seems like a stupid idea to hold on to this. Okay, one more thing that I want to open. If you check out the bank here, we've actually got 95 bird's eggs. And I know what you're thinking. Shelby, why don't you just wait till 100 to open them? It's a much more satisfying number, and I'm really glad you asked. But, uh, no. So, we've never gotten an evil chicken piece on this account, which is a shame because we've opened at least five bird's eggs. I don't remember, actually, how many we've done on this account. Let's see. 36. Wow, we're extremely dry. Actually, after this, we'll be about a third of the way to the drop rate, so if we do manage to pull an evil chicken piece, 
It will be one of the most spooned things you've ever witnessed on this game, which you've never seen from me. I've never been spooned before on this account. Please don't go looking at my chambers of Zeric Log. Yeah, we're just going to keep opening these. I don't really have much else to say, except for the fact that I do not really get bird eggs from Kingdom, because uh, I do not, you know, have my Kingdom fellers harvest maple, because that'd be an absolute waste on an Iron Man. So I got these all naturally through birdhouse runs. There's a lot of birdhouse runs just to get this many, but, you know, I do it for y'all. But yeah, look at this. We're about to pass over 100 offerings here, which is, you know, it seems like a lot, but we're, yeah, like I said, a third of the way to the drop rate, so it's not really a lot. It actually does take a long time to get enough. No way. No way. The evil chicken legs, are you kidding? Wait, you actually can't really tell the difference that much. Although, this is prime e-girl fashion scape right here so we're one step closer to becoming the most powerful e-girl on old school runescape and also this is a piece i'm missing on my main account but uh that just means all i need now is what what do i need i think i've never gotten the evil chicken feet or maybe it's the head i don't remember or maybe i have gotten the legs i don't know all i know is that i'm happy and uh, we actually have an evil chicken piece on the hardcore now as well which is pretty cool Okay, I just checked my mains collection log. The only piece I have never gotten on any account now is the evil chicken head. So if we somehow get that, then we can say that we've technically gotten full evil chicken, which is like pretty much the biggest flex you can have in the game, but that's not going to happen right now. Maybe next opening, though. Look at that! We got a piece of evil chicken on the hardcore. That is so huge. I cannot get over it. I cannot get over how silly this looks without the rest of the outfit. And now for the next saga in my degeneracy, I am doing the most overpowered skilling method of all time where you just get two rats to beat the hell out of you and you get to fish every two ticks instead of every five ticks it's absolutely insane and then i just set the uh uh shift click option or left click option on my fish to drop so that i don't have to uh shift click or anything it's very minimal effort and if you want to guide on this i'll re try to remember to put a link in the description but basically what i'm trying to do here is not only get the fishing pet which i'm extremely dry on but also get the big swordfish which is one in 2500 and is in the collection log and as you can see you fish so much faster than you do normally here that i actually don't think it'll take too long to get the big swordfish plus the fishing xp is a nice bonus i think you can get up to 140,000 xp per hour here which is just nuts Okay, I don't know if I got lucky on these or if these uh, fishing spots just really, really like to give clue scrolls, but we got a beginner, an easy, and a medium pretty quickly, so this spot might be really fun to fish at. Also, I was using a harpoon, which is kind of silly because you can actually barehand fish these at the same rates, I believe, and you get a little bit of strength XP, so that's nice. Also, for anyone curious, I'm almost three times the rave for the fishing pet, so if we do happen to get it while we're doing any of these big fish grinds, it is completely deserved, okay? You can't flame me for it. And here's a fun new log that just came out recently, the forestry log. There's a good amount of log slots that you can get from this, four of which I technically already have because I have the lumberjack outfit. I don't know why I have 12 lumberjack, lumberjack tops in the log. I don't remember. Did I just get really unlucky while going for this outfit? Maybe? I don't remember how it works. Anyways, we've got a lot of new log slots here. I'm not going to grind it all out at once because it is a little bit tougher on an Iron Man. And also the CC that calls these events out has slowed down a lot since Forestry came out. So it might be better to do a lot of the grinding passively over time. Just do a little bit here, a little bit there. And maybe when Forestry Part 2 comes out, it'll be more active. But I went ahead and gathered all these logs and the essence. I think we got enough essence and logs to be able to buy all of this. I guess I have to take it out of the Forestry Kit. Uh, yeah, I've got 6,000 essence. That's more than enough. So here we go. Let's go to the shop, buy one of these, one of these, one of these, and one of the... Why are they not buying? Yeah, it turns out you need the lumberjack outfit to do that. So I had to take it off because it actually turns into the forestry outfit. There we go. Forestry top, forestry hat, forestry legs, and the forestry boots. Four new log slots for us. And we get to sport this cool new outfit, which looks... The hood just looks so dorky. I can't get over that. It looked like uh, Tingle from Ocarina of Time or something, trying to be an elf. But, you know, we'll take it. And now we get the snazzy new cosplay while we get to uh, chop more logs. Ooh, check it out. That actually put us over 550 collection log slots. Very nice. The next milestone we hit will be the big 600. Do you guys like my outfit? I think it's a cute little outfit that I threw together. This is the outfit that I used to collect us 50 medium clues, which is the biggest medium clue opening I've ever done on this account. 
considering that I've really never grinded medium clues. Almost all 180 of these were just from birdhouses, woodcutting, fishing, mining, and uh, what do you get them from? Dagonoth tasks when I used to AFK regular Dagonoth. So yeah, maybe we'll get some ranger boots. That would be an absolutely huge upgrade. But also we're missing almost 100 items in this clue log. So there is a pretty good chance we get something good. And of course, we're going to drop this master clue that we can't even do until we get a Zami full helm. So we're going to drop that. And if we get another master clue with a step that's actually possible, well, then we will say screw it to that master clue. Ooh, back to back uniques. Unfortunately, both dupes. I feel like that's something we're going to be seeing a lot of. I don't know why. Yep, another dupe. Three in a row when we're missing a third of the stuff from medium clues. Does hurt a little bit. But you know what they say? Complaining never gets you anywhere. Actually, screw those people. I complain all the time and it always gets me stuff. Watch this. Wah! We haven't gotten a single collection long... Okay, there's another dupe. We're going to stop complaining. It's clearly not working. I'm heading into my optimist arc because we're 15 clues in with nothing. There it is. The Addy Plate Body GC. Optimism is the way to go. Complaining is never going to get you anything. Back to back into the Bando Stole and White Elegant Skirt, but unfortunately it is a piece of elegant we already have. But you know what? That's all right. That's all right, because we got another Master Scroll Book. We got the Pink Elegant Legs. Oh my god, wait. This opening is turned around really fast. We're getting a ton of uniques, and I'm, I'm out of bank space. Yeah, I'm out of bank space, but we don't need to talk about that. We'll figure it out down the line, you know. We're just going to keep opening because I expect to see... you Eddie Full Helm trimmed. I expect to see uh, Ranger Boots any second now. Any second now. I'm just looking at the chat. I'm barely even looking at the actual thing. We got another pair of green dehyde chaps tee. That's weird. Gold Elegant Skirt. New log slot completed. This is actually making me really excited to do more medium clues because I used to hate doing them. Uh, nice Capitron shield. I used to hate doing them on the hardcore because you have to you know, catch the implings and stuff, but I actually really enjoyed uh, doing these medium clues. Wow, this is a stacked clue. Eight mostly harmless and 14 Nardas. Over a 400k clue. Absolutely disgusting. We've only got eight more chances at the beautiful Ranger boots. Come on. Oh, wait. Wait, we actually got them. Oh, shoot, man. Oh, shoot. I really did not expect that. I have to say, I did not expect to actually get Ranger Boots. Let's finish up the opening real quick. That is a stacked clue. Double unique with the Hosidious banner. Uh, last clue. I don't care what it is. Oh, my God. We actually just got Ranger Boots. Okay. Okay. So, how many clues was that for the Ranger Boots? 226. That's pretty lucky. I think it's like one in 300 mediums for Ranger Boots. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. I'm so happy to get these. Let me get out my range gear so it looks better. Here we go. Equipping the ranger boots. Oh, they look so good with my uh, Guthix chaps, actually. It kind of makes this disgusting mishmash god dehyde outfit look a little bit better. But more importantly, we have to attach the Pegasian crystal. I've been waiting so long for these boots. Are you sure you wish to infuse them? Yes, I do. And most importantly, 200 rune crafting experience, which is actually nuts and overpowered, and they should nerf it as soon as possible. There are our Pegasian boots, the last of the three best in slot boots that we needed. Let's get them all out because it just looks so good in the inventory. Yeah, I could have just gone to my gear tab and clicked on them, but that ain't me. There we go. We got all three best in slot boots, and uh, what can I say? I'm very happy right now, and I'm actually even more motivated than ever to go ahead and grind out medium clues for the log because that opening went so well. We're only missing spiked manacles to finish our whole boot collection in only 2.30. That's so lucky. So we're just here mining and crafting some amethyst into darts because I was running low, but also for another reason. As you can see, I've got 200 unidentified materials here, which I can use to buy the mining gloves and superior mining gloves, which are both collection log slots. And I think if I put them together, Wait, no, do we have to talk to this person to put them together? Can you can you put my gloves together? Uh, can you combine my mining gloves? Uh, yes. Uh, 60 minerals! Oh, I didn't realize this was a scam. Never mind. Okay, so yeah, so we gotta get 40 more minerals for the last log slot. I totally forgot about that. But hey, two new collection log slots, and I have a new AFK goal. Mining amethyst for darts. So, I kinda wanna try out our new Pegasian, so we're gonna come back to Muspa. It has been... Quite a while since I've done the Phantom Muspa, but it is a really fun boss, and I'd love to get the Venator bow, so we're probably going to be coming back here every now and then. I really wanted to get Rigor before I did this, but before I did more Chambers, I wanted to get the Dragon Hunter Lance, but I'm a little dry on that, so I'm just going to do what I want. I'm not going to sit here waiting for this gear upgrade and that gear upgrade to do every single piece of content, because uh, that's just going to drive me crazy. Oh yeah, I forgot they added new combat tasks, so I got Versatile Drainer, which is for draining it with three or more different things, but I don't... 
I don't know if I did. Oh, yeah, I did use Greater Corruption. So I used Greater Corruption, uh, Smite, and the Sapphire Bolt spec. Very nice. Uh, okay, apparently that was an elite task. Phantom Muspa Speed Trialist. I got a 250. I feel like that's not an insanely fast kill, but I will take it because I'm just the best, clearly. Oh, yeah, an Ancient Icon. I actually forgot about this drop because I am going to need uh, a good amount of these for Desert Treasure 2. I think I need four in total. And if I'm correct, I only have one so far. Let me check the Muspa log real quick. Yeah, that was our second Ancient Icon, which is great. They're only 1 in 50, so they're super common. So I think I'm just going to stay here until we get all four of the Ancient Icons we need for DT2 because there's going to be a new crystal from every single boss that upgrades the Ancient Scepter into a more powerful powerful version that does to do with all the elements, you know, Blood Smoke and uh, the other cringe ones. All right, we just got a Master Combat task. Walk straight, pray true. I... Don't remember what that one is, but I'm just going to assume that I'm insanely good at the game. That'll help me sleep tonight. That's good stuff. Hey, I did it first try. Space is tight. I saw this was a combat achievement, so I really wanted to try and get it. Basically, you just surround Muspa with spikes before you kill it. Uh, it was actually pretty fun. I thought it would be a little bit more stressful than it was, but it was pretty chill. I got a first try. You should go for it. Don't just sit there. Go for your combat achievements. They're fun. I promise. Okay, now we're about to try a pretty nuts combat achievement that I'm really excited about. It is called More Than Just a Ranged Weapon, and it is for killing the Muspa with just a Salamander. So we got the Black Salamander, the Harlander Tar, Mage Switch, Range Switch, and uh, I'm hoping we could pull this off. I know our gear is not the best, let's be honest. It's not incredible. So hopefully it's enough to take it out, and I'm sure the Salamander does not hit as hard as a Twisted Bow, so I'm sure this fight's gonna be like 10 minutes long. <gasps> no! Are you f Oh my fucking god, I was too focused. I f Oh my gosh, I had it. First try and everything, but I just... I just stopped clicking on the screen for three seconds. I forgot about my crystal, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, I was doing just fine. Yeah, I kind of screwed up a lot during the kill, to be fair. But, you know, now I know that we have it in the bag. I just have to not be a complete goofball. Yes, there we go. There we go. More than just a ranged weapon. That was a little bit tough. I failed the second attempt because the boss got surrounded by those spikes. You really have to be careful managing those while you're killing it, but there's another master task. Five points in the bag. I've got 60 more unidentified minerals. I don't know how you do this. Do you just put them together? Do I have to, do I have to talk to you? Hey, buddy, do you know that I have even more minerals? Can you combine my mining gloves? Because that's just a lot of work. Yeah, 60 minerals, that's fine. And boom, another collection log slot, expert mining gloves. Plus, these are just insanely useful since when I'm wearing these, there is a chance that the amethyst I'm mining will not deplete so it makes it even more afk and uh yeah i like that quite a lot okay okay i think it's time to stop Twenty-eight thousand amethyst dart tips is probably good for a little while and we have like five thousand in the bank i think plus however many are in the blowpipe i think we're set for a good little bit i don't know how long we were here but this took a while i don't know where it came from don't ask me it's just there somehow i want to do some more hydra our current log is looking like this 1033 we're still missing the claw and somehow one of the ring pieces, and of course, the beautiful Hydra pet, which I would love to get on this account as well. Uh, I've now technically gotten it twice. I got it on my main account, and I got it on a Leagues account one time. So, uh, yeah, I love this pet, though. It is a very cute one. Brother, you've got to be kidding me. Another, <sighs> another Hydra leather. You know, if you don't know... You're just going to be like, why is this man complaining? That right there is bond money, baby. That's so good. Bond money. Get excited. In fact, how much is this thing worth right now? Nine mil? That's actually pretty good for the leather, if I remember correctly. But, uh, that's our sixth one. <laughs> Dude. Why? Why do I have six of these? This is so silly. It's so silly. And I still have them all in the bank. I probably should drop some over for bond money, but I kind of like having these stupid collections on the Iron Man. It just reminds me of how dumb this game is and why i love it oh boy look at this kill count milestone in old school runescape we've achieved 1100 kills at the alchemical hydra and i'm already getting burned out of it y'all i've only done what like 70 kills today and i'm already getting burned out of this boss his boss has the uncanny ability to make you go from excited to kill it to actually just dead exhausted of killing it in like a few hours Okay, so we're doing a little bit of TOA. Look at that time. 3149. Pretty bad. I also upped the invos to 200. The reason this time was so bad, you might be wondering. And that's because 
You gonna guess it? Type in the comments if you can guess it. Yeah, I brought a rod as blessing instead of arrows for the twisted bow. <laughs> yeah, pretty embarrassing. And we don't even get a purple for all that, darn. Ooh, baby, now that's a chest right there. Seven Snapdragons, seven Torstals. We, we don't talk about the rubies, but we also got an elite Kalu scroll. We'll see if we can go do that real quick. Uh, I'm actually really enjoying TOA on the hardcore. The big downside is my gear kind of sucks. I mean, the, uh, the, the Hosta here is not really the best stab weapon you can have here, and I don't have the dex scroll still. I know it's been years, and I'm supposed to go back and do the dex scroll, but like I just really don't like chambers that much, so I mean, I'll, I'll just use Eagle Eye. It's okay. <gasps> oh my f goodness no way we have a purple on the hardcore oh my gosh dude i'm so excited <laughs> oh my god dude 23 kills it's like a one in 40 of this invocation this, this is pretty lucky but it's youtube luck i don't know what you expected now the real question is our first purple from uh chambers was the twisted bow can our first purple from tombs be the shadow will the luck continue all right here we go we just need to open it obviously i'm literally happy with any purple like once you have none of them here any purple is good let's see what we get oh my god my heart oh my heart can't take this this is so amazing what am i gonna get i'm gonna get my sorry top oh that's so good that's so Oh good, it's not even funny. Oh my god. Oh, what a good day. What an amazing day. All right, let's put my range gear on and check out just how big of an upgrade this is. Now, it won't have amazing defense bonuses because I don't have the armadillo items to upgrade it. I think I will go to armor eventually, but wow. I mean, this is the last item I expect to get first. This is awesome. Okay, so we're going from 123 range to accuracy to 136. That's a 13 bonus. I, it might not sound like much, but I swear it is. For ranged, 13 accuracy is so much. And not to mention, look at this all-important stat here. Uh, range strength, 53 up to 57. That is 4 range strength, which will boost the max hit uh, significantly, I believe, on the Twisted Bow. At least by 1 or 2. And then on the Blowpipe, if that gives Blowpipe a max hit, that is absolutely massive. Oh my god, look at us! We're an absolute unit! We're a menace to society! And honestly, it looks even uglier than the non-matching god dehyde set and that just makes me so happy oh my god look at us we're so cute i was gonna make a joke about how we didn't get back to back but then we actually get an elite clue scroll so i mean it's kind of a back to back also how nuts is it right i'm only running 200s and uh that's because my accuracy with this thing is so bad i think if i go any higher the fights will last like 15 minutes just in baba's room but Think about it. I'm just running a 200, nothing too insane, and I just got 27 dragon stones. That is 27 amulets of glory or whatever the hell I want. That's just so silly. So we got to what I believe is the last step of this elite clue, step seven. Let's be honest, it's the last step. Maybe it can go to eight, but in my heart of hearts, I know it's the last step. And we need a granite shield, which I do not have one. And the only way to get it is by killing trolls on uh, Natis Nader Yati. So, and I think it's one in 128. So let's go there with our cannon and smash some trolls till we get that darn shield. All right, that did not take long at all. Let me pick that up and get out of here. Let me count up the kills that it took us. It took us approximately 35 kills. <laughs> that is extremely lucky. Okay, we're on a bit of a hot streak recently. Let's go get this clue done. I told you this was the last step. And in this casket, we are going to get... No, I'm just kidding. I'm stacking a ton of clues before we open them again also i'm not able to make the stash unit because i only have one rune heraldic helmet from clue scrolls and i need two of them for two different stash units i don't want to go back and forth taking them out so let's check how the caskets are doing we've got a pretty healthy stack going on here i don't know how much i'm going to save up i don't want to save up too many because there are things that i need like from hard clues for other clue tiers and so on and so forth but it's fun stacking clues okay Oh, okay, wait a minute. <clears throat> Excuse me, we just got two combat achievements. We got Novus Tomb Looter, which is, uh, I'm assuming, just 25 tombs of a masket. And just Tomb Looter, right? I don't really know what that's for. And we got a purple. Isn't that crazy? Okay, no, we didn't. But there's still the chance for the gems, which is like the whole reason I came here. I really want that blue gem for Cal Fight Queen. Come on, baby! Oh, my God. Oh, that's good. I was really confused, but apparently this task is for doing it in entry mode or higher, and then the tomb looter task is just for doing it in regular mode. So, eight points. Woo! Oh my god, I want to be upset so bad. I'm sorry about the flashing thrall reminder. Okay, I forget to run my, I forget to put up my thralls. I can't even talk. We got the red gems. 
And we got the red gem. No, this is the only one that is completely and utterly useless. This thing is so bad, it's not even funny. Unless you're running like eight man squads, then maybe it's good. I don't even know if it's good for that. It's garbage. It's stupid. It's stinky. I'm not even going to tell you what it does because you probably don't know what it does. It's that bad. Uh, okay, we got a duplicate thread at 28 kills. That's so weird because I'm pretty sure the dupe thread is absurdly rare. On my main, I have like 300-ish, maybe a little bit more TOA kill count. And I think I've gotten two or three dupe threads in that entire time. So, I mean, if we ever die and lose the rune pouch, I guess that's good because I do bring the rune pouch out with me into the wildy and risk it because why not? You know, I don't plan on dying on this account. If it happens, it happens. But now we got a backup rune pouch. Woo! And here we go, a cruising 30 kill count here at Tombs of a Mask. It very nice. Still working towards that gem. And still working towards some purples. No, we got a white. But we could still get a gem. Anyways, I'm really, really enjoying TOA here on the hardcore. Manta rays and coconut milk. Very nice. Herblor XP and coconut XP. I'll take it. Uh, the normal loot is pretty good, especially like the dragon dart tips and the herb seeds. Those are probably my favorite thing that you get from here. And it's been pretty chill. I've just been really wishing that I could push the invocation up just a little bit. But I think I mentioned this already. The hosta has pretty terrible accuracy against everything. And so if I get a fang, I'll probably be able to push up a little higher. And if I ever end up getting the deck scroll, I can push even higher as well. Because eagle eye, it just isn't it, man. It's not the best thing in the game but it's what we got and so i think this is where i'm going to be ending the hardcore iron man video off today thank you all so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed it and in the next one i fully expect us to do some more pvm as i was really enjoying toa and i really want to get that stupid dragon hunter lance i get so demotivated sometimes i'll see people that go like three or four thousand dry on that and i'm like mm, that could be me but then again hydra gives a bunch of good normal loot so worst case scenario we keep going dry there We'll make a lot of money and stuff. So you got to stay positive. If you let the dread get to you, RuneScape is going to be a slog. So anyways, thank you all once again. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will see you next time where we will totally get the Dragon Hunter Lance. Go to Chambers, get the deck scroll, go back to TOA, do a 500 solo, and get myself the shadow. I'll see you then. Goodbye.